Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to the Tuesday night Vive Pace Setters training. I'm Brian Dalmaso, for those of you who don't know me. And uh, looking forward to really having a good training tonight. If, if at all possible, I'd like to have you guys um, use the videos on your screen so we can see who you are, where you're coming from. Uh, it's just a lot, a lot more engaging when, um, you know, when you show your videos and we can, we can chat together and I can see your, see your eyeballs. So feel free to share. It doesn't matter if you have bed head or gym head or anything else or whatever it is. Um, Cause one thing guys, you know, we want to, we want to get in the habit of using Tuesday night at seven. This is not just a webinar that we're here to just tell you stuff. This is the one hour a week where we come together and actually build the business. Right? So if nothing else during the week, uh, this time here is where you can get help on what to say, how to say it, how to book appointments, lining up three way calls, everything you really need to book your business. So, um, you know, it, 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 we, we, uh, we record this as well. So, um, if you are subscribed to it, you will get the recording. If you have people in your team that are working, if they work off shift, we do record it and we do get it out. But, um, I really want you guys to sort of burn this into your calendar that Tuesday nights at seven is, is your one hour a week when you're going to really focus and reach out to 20 or 30 people. Cause we always end up doing a tech split. Um, so that being said, I appreciate everybody showing up and um, hopefully you've had a great week so far. I just want to go over a couple of things as we go. Thank you. Um, one of the things that, that we've been working with leaders, and again, I always want to put the precursor out there. There's a reason why we call this pace setter training. And I always want to say, guys, you know, I don't want to make my goals your goals. If, if, if you're somebody that just wants to dabble in this, that's absolutely okay. We're building a community of people, like-minded people. So. I don't, anyone, I don't want anybody to ever take offense to, um, you know, how hard we push on this training. And I see Lisa smiling because she's pushing really hard. Um, and I always love when people try to have excuses when Lisa's on. <laughs> so just I want to, you know, I'm going to give that disclaimer that your goals are your goals. But if you desire to get the pace setter, this is definitely the place to be. Uh, we have people already hitting it, uh, using the methods that we teach and train. And the one thing, guys, you want to you wanna know your numbers. And I actually want to have Lisa chime in on this after too. You want to know your numbers. You know, if your, if your daily method of operation is to spend a half hour in your business and in that half hour you reach out to 10 people and every time you reach out to 10 people you get one booked appointment, then you know if you do that five, you know, five days a week, right, a half hour a day, five days a week, you're going to get your five appointments. And then if you're closing one of those appointments as an associate and the other ones you should, you, you know, we should be getting some version of a customer. Then you know you can sponsor one associate a week, right? So you want, you really want to start to know your numbers. And this is any business, right? This, this is where we go from just this thing we join to a actual part-time business that we have a, a method of operation, you know? So whatever that is, it, it might be a half hour, uh, three times a week. It might be a Monday, Wednesday, Friday thing, or it might be, it might be only like two hours on a Saturday. So your time slot is your time slot. I always try to coach people to have a minimum daily method of operation. Like there's nobody here or anywhere for that matter that can't spend 15 minutes a day in this business, right? I think we'd all agree on that. So even if it's 15 minutes, you can reach out to five people using the methods that we teach. So that should be no less than five people a day that we are inviting. That makes sense, guys. And then, obviously, we don't want to, you know, just keep everything minimum. We do want to have some time during the week where we choose to dedicate, um, choose to dedicate like an hour or two to this business. So for Kenny, Matt, and I, we actually work um, three to four hours on Saturday mornings together, team building and, and blitzing and coaching, seven a.m. to ten or eleven. We take that chunk, and then we're building this all throughout the week. What's up, Russ? <laughs> in the background there he's lurking so guys you, you got to determine what you want out of this business uh, and we can help you too one of the things we can do on here if you guys have certain goals that you want to hit we can coach you on what it's going to take to get there what type of time how many people and what you're going to have to do so we can talk about that too so guys you want to know your numbers and we also want to have goals right now we've set this up this pace setter um target or this pace setter training um, in such a way that it's, it's always goal oriented towards the end of the month. 
So I'm going to ask you guys when, when we get going here, I want some, some people to spit out, you know, what is your goal this month? You definitely want to have that. You want to have daily goals, weekly goals, and you definitely want to have what is your rank goal that you're trying to hit this month? Because if we don't have that clearly defined, the subconscious mind has nothing to track towards, and you'll just have a chaotic business. There'll be, there'll be, there'll be no tracking. There'll be nothing to track towards. We all need goals, right? Um, and the other thing I want to recommend that Lisa, and I don't know if Amanda's on. I think she is, the Haywoods. Uh, Lisa and Amanda, and I believe – somebody else is in your group is, is have an accountability partner, you know, and it doesn't necessarily have to be your upline. It doesn't have to be the person that sponsored you. It can be anybody. You guys can, can co-mingle here and find somebody that's going to challenge you, you know, have that accountability. Uh, I have a built in accountability partner. It's called my wife. Uh, who's like a pit bull and I do the same for her. So we, we, we're fortunate that we have each other, but if you don't have somebody that's, that's calling you out, and saying, hey, just once a day on a text, hey, did you text five people? Did you text 10 people? Um, get an accountability partner. It can, it can work wonders. Uh, another way of getting accountability partners is through um, the Rank Makers program. And I actually, I got to talk to Ray about getting a commission on this. Um, but it is, it's, it's, a brilliant, it's a brilliant platform. It's, it's pennies a day. And it's a very good accountability system. It gives you action items every single day. And I can see the heads nodding from the people that are on it. And then it's purely up to you to do what he says. And this is like 15 minutes. This is not big time sucking. I can't do it. This is anybody. You could have 15 kids, three jobs, and be single. There's no way that you can't find this time. There's no excuses on this one. Uh, so if you have a problem developing a daily method of operation, a weekly method of operation, if you can't hold yourself accountable, then spend a few bucks, become, become a rank maker. Uh, Lisa, how many ranks have you jumped since you started that program? Four. So four rank advances. She's a promoter 160, well on her way to a 320. And I'm going to guess that your goal is to hit 320 this month. Is that an accurate statement or am I, am I undershooting it? Yeah, no, that's an accurate statement. Yeah. And Lisa's got two crazy kids running around, and three if you count her husband. Um, you know, she's got a lot of stuff going on. Like it's, it's not that she has all this extra time. Um, she'll weave it in. You'll see kids running around and she does a lot of trainings and coaching, right? She's, she's not just building her own business. She's helping her team and us come up with content and programs. And, uh, if anybody has a, a an excuse they want to lean on, just give Lisa a call and have a little chat with her. Um, so that's one thing. If you have a problem, uh, holding yourself accountable and you and you've made the decision you want to be a pace setter, right? I'm assuming everybody here has made the decision that they want to be pace setter. I mean, this is probably the biggest opportunity that most of us are going to have um, in our lives to hit something, be part of a founding company that you're, think about this one. You hit that pace setter goal by January 31st, you are going to get a piece, an override on every single consultant in the Vive business for life. So that when they pass 5,000, 10,000, 100,000 associates, a million associates, you are going to get a piece of that. It's not just you and your team. You're getting a piece of the whole company, quarterly profit sharing for life. I can't say that enough that that's, that's you know, we're about helping people, but the first thing I want to do is help you guys get that rank. So that's why we're here. Um, so guys, I want to open up and just be, you know, we're a community here. There's no judgment. You know, I'm not your dad, but I do want some accountability. Um, who's brave enough to share their numbers this week? Well, actually, it's, uh, let's go with last week because we're only a couple days into this week. You know, how many booked appointments? How many texts? How many people did you reach out to? How many customers? Um, so for me, it was, you know, we, I, I sponsored two people and I think got two customers. Um, you know, whatever their numbers. Um, so who else wants to share their numbers? Cause it's important that we have accountability. And if your numbers are zero, like pipe up and say it was zero. We need that. We need to identify and help you fix that. Um, Brian, my numbers are zero. And I had a question mm -hmm. on like, if you could go through again, like your mythology, mythology, anyway, how you do like when you first reach out, like I've been doing going on Shaper, sure. and Jenny was telling me a little bit the other day about um, kind of starting up a conversation, see where they're at. Anyway, kind of get to know 
a yeah, little bit about, about where, where they are. When we say yeah, zero, I, when we say zero, that means you didn't send one text all week long. Oh, I thought you meant like who I signed up and who I got as customer. No, no, yeah. I mean, I, I should let me be more clear. Your numbers, quite honestly, guys, we can't control. I don't want you to get tied to the end result. I don't want to get you tied to who I signed up as a consultant. So I'm more concerned with your action. The you're going to get better and better and better. You're going to close more and more and more. But what we need, the only thing we can control is how many people we reach out to. So let me let me rephrase that. When we talk about your numbers, you know, how many texts did you send next week? Now, if you sent 1,500 texts in your in your didn't close any associates, then we then we have some ratios to work with. But do you know how many texts did you sent last week? Uh, I think 15 to 20, but I would have to go back and look. I don't actually know. About, about 15 or 20 for the week? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so I would, I would say that we want to grow those numbers. It should be 15 or 20 a day, right? Right. And I, well, the reason why I say that is because it only takes about 15 or 20 minutes to send 15 or 20 texts, maybe a half hour. Right. So there, there, there's, um, there's something we would highlight. And again, there's nothing wrong with that unless you're trying to be a pace setter. You're trying to get the cook, right? We, we got to up our numbers, pure and simple. And Lisa, right. can, Lisa can talk a little bit about her experience. The second thing I can highlight, Karen, is, you know, to be going right to Shaper is you're going to have to put a lot more numbers. This business is really predicated on, on first going to our warm market. Right. And a lot of people say, I don't have a warm market, but I can highlight if we go through your, your phone, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, um, old albums, wedding albums, high school yearbooks, who did you go to grade school, high school, college with? Most of the problem is that we don't really take enough time to dig into our warm market. And we, we can work with that on here. Um, so who else has some numbers they want to share? How many texts and, and what were the results? I text 60. And I got 10 no's. Oh. Can you say uh, something? I think Barbara said, you're very, very, uh, very faint, Barbara. Oh, okay. I said I text 60 and I got 10 no's. So you sent out 60, in, sent, uh, 60 texts? Yes. Yeah, because not everybody's going to respond to the text, so that's a good point. Um, so if that's the case, then we probably just need to work on um, either the, who you're sending them to or the language that you're, that you're using. Well, I'm using what you get, keep saying every week, you know. But I'm curious something. Can we group people together and then send the whole group the same text? I mean, I wouldn't do that because it's very highly ineffective. How many, how many group texts do you get that you're like, oh, my God, i got to respond to this. This is definitely something I want to be a part of. Yeah. People don't, people don't respond. I mean, I send group texts to you guys inviting you to the webinar because you're grown adults and it's your business. But I, I, don't, I, would, never, I would never group text um, a prospect. I want them to – the text needs to be that I am trying to engage with them human to human. And the other thing, guys, we, we got to get you – and that's why we come here tonight as well – I don't want you to just cut, copy, and paste my text. My language may or may not work for you. You have to do split testing. You have to get creative. You have to, you have to read books. You have to engage in like Eric Worre's GoPro, the rank makers. If you're engaged in rank makers, they give you all kinds of different texts and all kinds of different ways to communicate. So um, I want to be really clear that it's not about you just copying my text and expecting that to work. That's, that's me, and I'm an engineer, and I have my language. It's a good starting point, but you want to massage the phraseology. You know, if you're talking to a school teacher, we want to change that a little bit. And that's what we can do here. So, Barbara, what we can do on, on this training here is we'll work on some of that. Yeah, and I wanted to know something else. Can you do it by the phone, you know, book? Go by names, just strangers, total strangers. Talk just open up the phone book? Yep, and just talk to strangers. I mean, you can. I mean, I know there's, there's a um, – there's a lady in our business, her name is Donna French, that when she was first starting her business uh, in this industry, um, we, didn't, we weren't even able to access clients in Massachusetts. So she would take a bus to Connecticut and she would stand out in front of a grocery store and just start striking up conversations. Hey, do you know where the nearest Staples is? And she got customers that way. So you can do whatever it is you want to do um, to, to create a warm market. Um, it's just bigger numbers, right? If you're in the phone book, you're going to get, you know, 
probably a hundred no's to one yes. But that's okay as long as you're good. With, as long as you're okay with that. Okay. Uh, with with digital media, uh, social marketing, digital media, uh, the phone book is not. You know that can be a tough place. That's kind of an outdated thing. You're better off using Facebook and LinkedIn, and building relationships. Which again, I hate to keep pointing to rake makers. That's exactly what they what they teach you to do. Uh, they teach you to build a social media presence in a very positive way. They show you how to join groups. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Lisa, but that's exactly what they do. They teach you how to build a warm market. And we can also teach some of that here. Um, who else has some numbers that they, um, they want to share? Hey, Brian, it's Lisa. Sure. I reached out to 80 last week and um, I had six no's. A lot of people that are in limbo that were nailing down appointment times. And what I am finding is now that I'm not bending on the process, it's taking a little bit longer to lock down a time. So for example, someone was out of the office last week because her mom was in the hospital. She's playing catch up this week. Well, I don't mind taking a break to watch a quick video. I really don't have the time open to have a phone conversation in the next few weeks. Guess what? Before I would have been so desperate. All right, well here. When things slow down, then we can connect. Here's the video. Yeah. And I absolutely will not do that anymore. So I hope that your mom is doing better. I certainly understand. I'll follow up with you in September and perhaps we can schedule a time for you to watch the video and then connect by phone. 15 to 20 minutes total is typically how long the video and the call take combined. Look forward to connecting. Hope all is well. Yeah. That's it. I just pulled it right back away. So I'm finding that the response time is a little bit longer than before because I'm really sticking to the process. So are you, are you predominantly now almost a hundred percent on social media? Yes. So, so one thing that I would suggest to you and Russ, just knowing your personalities is to get back into the human race a little bit more and not, not go a hundred percent social media. Yeah. You know, some of the, some of the best things, some of the best, um, Prospects that you guys have had in the past have been from bump, grocery stores bumping in. You know what I mean? Yeah, I should rephrase that. I'm actually joining a a, a female version of <laughs> BNI without all the rules. It's called yeah, Girl Boss Networking. Yeah. And um, I actually just downloaded last night a list of all of my friends on Facebook because that's the very thing that Jessica Higdon talked about on one of her trainings that I was listening to. Is so often we're out there looking for new people, new people. But how many friends do you have on Facebook? And can you honestly say that you've reached out to every single one of them? And the answer is no. Well, that's, so. that's a point I wanted to make. And that was getting back to Karen is like a lot. I can guarantee you guys, it's not a hundred percent, but most of you definitely have not gone through your Walmart. market. I can almost guarantee it. What you've done is, is you've pre-qualified people. You look at their name and you say, ah, they wouldn't be interested or, Oh my God, it's my aunt, not her. So we pre-qualify people. And that, that's, that can be the death, the death of a network market. You don't want to pre-qualify anybody. You want to learn how to peak interest with everybody. So if I have somebody that I know doesn't want to do this business, I still approach them. And I tell them, listen, I have a business idea I want to buy you. It's not for you. But I know that you're connected to some realtors and some insurance. I, I think there's people that you might know in your network. I just want you to see what I'm doing. I would really appreciate it. So that way you feel comfortable recommending some of those people to me. So there's a lot of different ways. And this is where you guys want to raise your skills and your craft and study and, and, and improve your language. You know, if, if uh, Bob, if you're reaching out to 60, you know, 60 people and you get 10 no's, then it tells me you probably want to study books like how to win friends, and influence people. You want, you want to master that book. You want to improve your skills in communicating with people. Does that make sense? Um, and, the, and the last thing I tell somebody is that, that network marketing is easy. It's not easy. It's just leveraged and it's better, right? You, you probably can't get to five or six figures a month in your core business. So network marketing takes time and study just like any other, just like becoming a doctor or a lawyer or anything else. Ooh, getting a pretty good thunder boomer here. Does that make sense guys? So, so again, this is pace setter training. So I've recommended Eric Worre GoPro. I studied that. I've read that and studied it hundreds of times, not 10 or 20. Um, I continue to you know, build my skills. Um, 
daily, <clears throat> excuse me, in this industry. And, and that's why we hit page setters so quick. It's a business, right? It's not a hobby for me. Now, it can be a five hour a week business. I'm not saying it's going to be full time, but you know, if we're reaching out to large numbers of people and not having success, then it's just highlighting. It's just feedback that you, that you need to improve your skills and your knowledge. And that's okay. That's not a negative thing. It's just feedback. Does that make sense, Brian, guys? Was, yeah. Brian, what was the name of that book you just said to Barbara? So um, Eric Worre has a, a, a website called networkmarketingpro.com. All right, I guys, know Eric Worre, but the other, you said a different name. Well, his book is called GoPro. All right, I have that, but you didn't uh, just said how to, how to Win Friends and Influence People. Oh, my people. bad. Sorry. No, uh, How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Now, I studied that book for business, not just, this is for all of my businesses. That, that information is, comes from like the Carnegie Institute. That's just high level sales. It's how to mentally get on the same side of the table with somebody. And this is why our closing ratios are so high is because I, I can mentally get on the side, same side of the table with, with anybody, no matter what profession, what age. And I'm not bragging. I just, I studied. It's not even my material. But it's why we close, you know, four out of five people. I've studied, you know. Um, so in the beginning, I, in the beginning, it's about going through a lot of numbers, right? And J Big John used to say this: "What we lack in skills, we make up in numbers." So you might need to reach out to a hundred people a week to close one, but that's okay. Even if you guys are are adding one business partner a month, you can build an empire in three to five years. Now, one business partner a month. Probably won't get you to pay setter though. Full honesty here. If you're adding one business partner a month, we need to up your numbers. And that's, it just is what it is, you know? Now, the more you up your numbers, the better your skills are going to get though. That's the key. That's the key, right? So, um, Brian, yeah. I think the other thing too, if you, if you don't mind me jumping in for just oh, a definitely. second. Jump in for sure. Because I have a lot of conversations with people that are, that are in this business, that are in this company. And I just, I kind of want to just, again, take a step back and highlight the importance, you know, Brian, obviously everything you're saying is spot on, but just highlight the importance of having a system. So I don't care how good you are. You got to be keeping track of who you're writing out to. I mean, you can buy a composition notebook for a dollar at the dollar store mm -hmm. and be writing down who you're reaching out to, but you got to keep track of that. And you got to have a goal, you know, and Brian touched upon that a little bit. If it's one, if it's five, if it's 10, one person a day is not going to get you to pay setter. 10 people a day aren't going to get you to pay setter most likely. But what is your goal? And so many people that I talk to Brian have not, they can't give me a number. They don't have a number. And, and here's what I found. If you have a weekly goal, guess what happens? It's Monday, you do great. Tuesday life happens, you don't do it. Wednesday life happens. Before you know it, it's Saturday and you're trying to make up the numbers for the week because you didn't do your daily number. Mm. So, so many people that I speak to don't have, they can't just tell me right off the bat what their daily number is. You should, you should know that. If you want to hit pay setter, you should, even if you don't, if you're working this business, you should know what your daily goal is. And there's no right or wrong answer. It's whatever you want it to be, but pick a number and stick with it. And then adjust it as you need to. If you're doing more, raise it. If you're doing less, lower it. Have a goal every day and then have a system where you're writing it down because when you start reaching out to people faithfully, uh, Amanda, Brett, Brad, they can tell you you're not going to know who the heck you spoke to. You got to keep track of it. You know, write in parentheses, whether it was LI for LinkedIn or face FB for Facebook or T for text. Highlight in green when you get a no, because every single no is one step closer to a yes. Green equals money. Write down your 10 new connections. Because as you're making those new connections, you can be dripping on them. You know, like, hey, how are you? Like, just building some rapport while you're reaching out to all of these other people. You know, I posted really quick, and then I'll shut up. I posted today in the autism mom support group that I'm in. A very simple text message, and I just made it colorful. And I said to my fellow mamas, you're doing a great job and I'm proud of you. You would not believe the response I've gotten from that very simple text. You know why? Because people need to hear it. It's a group that I can relate to. I have a son who has autism. We have things in common. I feel their pain. I understand where they're coming from. I can help them help bring them up. You know how many friend requests have come from that message? 
So sorry to be long winded, but have a goal, have a number, whatever it is, there's no right or wrong and have a system to keep track of what you're writing, who you're reaching out to. No, Lisa, don't apologize. That, that's spot on advice. And you know, can anybody take a wild guess where Lisa's getting all this brilliance from? <laughs> right? Listen, guys, I'm not different. Every single thing that I teach you guys is not my material. I've studied Eric Warrior. I've studied Jim Rohn. I've studied Bob Proctor. I've studied Dale Carnegie, right? None of it's my material. It's just what works. I study seven-figure earners, people that have made $100 million in network marketing, and then we share it with you guys. Text blitzing is not my thing. It's not my idea. It's just very effective, right? So, um, you know, at one point we're in the same boat. We didn't know anything, you know, about me and Kenny. We knew nothing about this industry, but we desired something, right? We desired, desired to get to seven figures and, and, and create that life of, of uh, residual income. And we also desired to help a lot of people. And that kind of came, that kind of came full circle. It was really cool. But one of my biggest goals in Vive, it's not because I need more companies. It's because I see a tool that I can give my guidance and coaching in to help a lot of people that don't necessarily have a business idea change their lives, right? So my mission completely shifted from being a, a, an income goal to how many people can I help get the pace setter, you know, because I know the high fives are coming. So um, with that being said, guys, let's get into a tech split. This is the purpose of tonight is to go to work together, right? Yeah. And I want you guys to commit to yourselves. It's not to me. It's your business, right? We're here to help. I want you to commit to reaching out to 30 people on this webinar, texting 30 people. And um, there's a few ways we can do this. If you don't know where to go, raise your hand or unmute yourself. Uh, I just start with my phone, start at the letter A. Or if you, if you used A last week, start at the letter C. You can go to Facebook, LinkedIn, a lot of different places you can go. A lot of this can be follow-up. If you've been blitzing right along with us, building your business, then a lot of this is going to be like Lisa said. It may be nothing to do with this business. It may be, hey, man, uh, you know, we connected a few weeks ago. It was just something about something made me think of you, and that's it. Or you might go to Facebook and post something in a group. So it doesn't have to be right at the subject, but we do want to break the ice with some new people too. Right? So I want you guys to commit to 30 texts, and I, I would like for 10 of them to be, at least 10 of them to be brand new people. And I don't mean new people, just new people about this. They could be old people that you're on your chicken list or you've pre-qualified, you know. You know, your grandmother may know somebody, you know. Um, for me, my brother has no interest in this business, but he knows people. I can network through him. You know, he's my brother. He'll help me, but he, he doesn't want anything to do with the business. He's, he's just comfortable. He's not an entrepreneur. That's fine, you know. So, guys, if you have a question on what to say to somebody, the purpose of this webinar is so we can help you craft that text all right so i want everybody to open up the phones except for the people driving please keep driving <laughs> and um and let us help you guys build your business all right i gotta set out i gotta send out an invite oh one last thing here guys uh eight o'clock eight o'clock we are having a new consultant fast start training so seven o'clock on tuesdays we're going to be building the business booking appointments sharing value like this eight o'clock is new consultant fast start training. So if you're brand new this week, I'm gonna send out the link here momentarily. Um, jump on that webinar, we're literally gonna fast start you. And this is where you guys that are brand new can also bring your brand new team members. Like you guys don't have to know anything about this business, just bring them to the seven o'clock, bring them to the eight o'clock, um, and we're, we're gonna build our businesses together. Does that make sense? This is how we can give back to you. This is how we can train your people so you don't have to, at least initially. And you can really maximize your time just peaking interest, peaking interest, peaking interest, getting some customers, right? Just those two core things. Uh, let, let us help you build a business. So uh, give me a few seconds here. I'm gonna um, send that email link out and then I'll jump back on. Lisa, uh, feel free or Kenny, if you wanna chime in with any content or if anybody needs help sending a text, uh, if you want to man that for a few seconds here. I did set up invite. If you are all, I, we've gotten several um, responses, but I, I did set up invites in our Facebook group for the recurring meeting, and I took it right through January. 
So some people had said they had trouble with the link. If you copy, if you hold your finger down over the Zoom link and you just wait until it says copy location, you can copy that and then just paste it and go and register for the meeting. So hopefully you'll get a reminder every week on Facebook if you're active on Facebook for both the seven o'clock and the eight o'clock meeting. Hey guys, what's, up, Kenny? what's going on, brother? I was hoping you'd chime in. <laughs> yeah, so I signed a consultant this, this afternoon about one o'clock, right? And uh, I just want to read you guys a little something. And whenever we're approaching people or talking to people, your level of excitement goes a long way. Um, I'm not looking for anybody to do this that doesn't want to do it. I'm looking to share value. So, you know, af after we got going, fast track trained a little bit, and you should be on later tonight. Uh, he shot me a text. You know, he goes, I always try to be open-minded to better myself. So that's why I looked at this. Maybe it's for me, maybe it's not, but it seems like an, a good, worthy opportunity to try. You guys seem enthusiastic, so it tells me something that, as well as I don't think guys like you and Brian would be involved if it were a waste of time. <laughs> so, it, you know, and then, then I just kind of really explained to him how the value I try to bring to people is that, I'm offering them something that's going to better the environment, you know, save them a little bit here and there. But I, I really portray of, of I'm trying to help them. And, and, you know, I've said that to him and he's like, yeah, that's how I see it as well. You can make some extra money while actually helping people around you out. You have to believe in anything you are selling to people because that's, that's the sense that they have. So don't try to rush people in and try to get them in and, and, and say it's for them. Just tell them that the core values that you have, and what you believe in, you know, like Lisa said, it may or may not be for you. That's up to you, but this is what we're doing. I'd love to share it with you. So just be, um, you know, just be open and honest with people. And, but if you go into it with the vibration of looking to, to I need something from you, they're going to feel that. Just go into it looking to, the, you know, to add value to their lives. Listen, I have something that, that you know, that I love. It, it may or may not be for you, but I'd love to share it with you. And, uh, People can tell the difference, especially through a tone of voice or anything. Well, that's great advice, Kenny. It's, uh, it's so true. I mean, we're looking for people that are looking. If you guys are brand new, we're not hunting. We're not begging. Oh. Uh, people can smell desperation. And a lot of times when, when you have a new, uh, new consultant, we, we reach out so desperately that we, we really, our vibration just pushes everybody away. They can tell we're desperate. So you don't want to, you don't want to have that, that, stink of desperation on you when you're reaching out to people because they can feel it you know uh this business sells itself if you get good at if you get good at sharing this business sharing the video telling your story and uh really sharing what the pace setter you know that that founder circle thing or letting us do it using your resources you'll you'll have a team growing i mean it's 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 it's, it's all about us learning how to share something effectively is really what it is I want to, Brian, if you don't mind, just take a minute and as Brett's on here, Brett Malofsky is one of our new consultants on Sherry's team. And Brett has been following the process to a T. So Brett, I know you're muted. I know your laptop doesn't have a camera. I'm not sure if you can hear me or if you're in a position to just chime in for a minute. Um, I can hear you. He's reaching out. He's asking if I'm available for a freeway. He's calling me a few minutes before to prep to let me know who I'm speaking with. He's texting me when I watch the video and then we're just sitting on the phone and he's done that so many times. So Brett, you're only in the business a few weeks. I don't know if you have any nuggets to share based on what we're talking about and how you're having success um out to people you're reaching out to your market. Uh can you hear me? Yes. All right. Good. Yeah. I mean, I'm only, I, I, I am kind of cherry picking. Um, 
I'm pre-qualifying only in the beginning here, just trying to find people that I think I know would be really interested. Like everybody else, I'm, I'm, I'm stretched thin with time and exhausted and, you know, I sleep for one to three hours a night, <laughs> which is not healthy. And, um, you know, I have some medical things going on. So I'm just kind of cherry picking some people that I think would be very interested. I'm not disqualifying other people. I'm just focusing in the beginning on those people that I know would be great. And then, like you said, I'm, you know, I'm trying to follow the process that you and I have discussed to be able to get these people, like you said, I'm not sending the video at 8 a.m. and saying, let's talk at 6 p.m. You know, like tonight, I sent it at 6, confirmed with them beforehand they were ready for it, told them we were going to have a call at 6.20, got you on because for some reason we're both seem to be struggling with the conference call feature on the phone, but letting them know that you'll be calling them and that seems to be working okay so far, you know. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, I mean, I will be sending out more in the future uh, and in the very near future. But again, I'm just focusing on some people I know would be interested right away, just to kind of build a little momentum. Hey, Brett, I did want to welcome you to the team. We haven't met, too. I'm going to put my phone number here in the chat because um, Lisa's been talking up a storm about you. And, uh oh. Uh, I just wanted to welcome you to the team. and um, Thank you. Let you know you're doing a great job. So if you need anything, there's my anybody, there's my number. If you need me to get on a three way call or, or whatever, or uh, help you close a large commercial deal, or whatever it is. Great. Thank you. Sure thing. Guys, I just sent out the invite. You should have all got it to give to your teams for the eight o'clock uh, fast start training. Um, actually, I can put it, I'll put it in the chat here, too. So if any, if any of you guys are brand new, if you haven't done a fast start training, I highly suggest jumping on one because that's what we're going to be doing with your new people. And um, it should be really good. So let me, let me grab that. Brian, can I ask you a fast question? Sure. Uh, your fast track, Dad, after this, are you actually recording that so that people can get onto that later and see it? Yes, yeah, so we already have one on the, uh, on the YouTube channel that's recorded. Okay. So, but the, we're, we're doing them live so we get the human interaction. People can ask questions. But there's already one from last week that's recorded that you guys can use at any time. You can follow along with it. Okay. And that's right on the Vive Success Network YouTube channel. So um, make sure that, you know, make sure that um, you guys are using that stuff and understanding where it is. All right, guys, that should be the link for yeah, that's the link for the um, the eight o'clock piece, um, fast start training there. Just put it in the chat box. Yeah, for those of you guys that haven't seen uh, Ray Higdon's network marketing rant, too, it's, uh, it's friggin' hilarious. Uh, I highly recommend watching it. There's a lot of truth in it, obviously, too, but he's got a, 
he's got a pretty good way of ranting and then throwing in some humor. I was, uh, I was dying laughing because it's so true in the industry. And in fact, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can grab that and I'll put it in the chat here as well. There we go. Guys, you can always copy this whole chat so you can you can click in the box and select all, cut, copy, and paste. You can also click on the more button on the right hand side. If you click more, and you can save the chat to a digital file, a text file, whatever you want. So all these links that we're doing, you guys can keep them and have them. The other thing we want to see here, guys, too, is if, um, if you're on this and you have people in your team and they're telling you they want to hit Pace Setter and they're not on this uh, webinar, th their actions are probably not lining, with, you know, lining up with their, with their beliefs and what they're trying to do. And it's not, like I said, it's not about me, but um, you know, if, if we hit Pace Setter in two months and I've studied with the world's best network marketers and we're giving you that advice and the methodology, um, there's, you know, it's a pretty good source of information. Like I said, it's not my information. So if you have people in your team, don't be afraid to give them a little gut punch if they're telling you they want to hit pace setter, if they want to hit that corporate profit sharing, if they want to be part of the founder's circle, but they're not showing up for webinars, they're not texting people, you know. Uh, there's no harm, in my opinion, in, in being holding somebody accountable for what they already told you they want to do. And that's kind of what this webinar is too. So uh, I definitely, if you haven't seen Ray's, Ray's uh, Facebook chat, uh, copy that link and click on it after this. It's, it's pretty good. Does anybody need any help uh, texting? Wondering what to say, how to say it? Hey, Kenny, why don't you read me your last text? I always like, uh, I like to hear your point of view on Uh, my last three were getting everybody on the eight o'clock. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, you guys should do that too. If you have, if you have brand new people in your team, um, I gotta do the same thing. <laughs> make sure they're getting, make sure you send them the link. It's promoting, right? You don't want to just send them. If it was two days ago, it's two days ago. Just say, hey, you know, really excited. We're starting in 15 minutes, fast start training. And uh, if you guys are brand new, I, I just highly encourage you to jump on that yourselves too. The other thing, guys, as we go on week to week here, when we're doing these trainings and the fast start trainings, we're going to be alternating, too. It's not just going to be uh, you guys listening to me. Lisa's going to do them. Kenny's going to do them. Matt's going to do them. We're going to get different points of view on what's working and different people, different points of view um, doing the fast start trainings. So you're getting a variety of, of angles and, and skills, and um, you know, I, think that'll, I think that'll be good for everybody to – just sort of share their experiences and, and get different points of view on that. We'll, we'll record those too. We'll, um, I already have one of me doing it. We'll, I'll probably record this one and then we'll record the other ones too. So you guys, you can have different points of view on the fast start training and you can tailor them to, uh, you know, who might resonate with one of us the most, if that makes sense.
Hey, Lisa, what was an example of the last text that you sent? Just curious. Hi, how are you? <laughs> oh, perfect. Yeah. Uh, you want to explain that a little bit? Because people will probably think you're kidding and you're not. No, I'm not. Uh, it was somebody that um, said they were open to taking a look at what we were doing. We had an appointment time set and then we didn't connect. So the follow-up formula is just reaching back out and saying, hey, how are you? You know, how's it going? And I literally just said, hey, how are you? Um, I'm going to wait. For, I'm not going to say, hey, how are you? Did you watch that video? We never connected. I'm just going to say, hey, how are you? And the point there is taking them from a non-respondent to a respondent. And then once they respond to me, then I'll say to them, whatever I'm going to say. You yeah. know? No, that's, that's a good point. Yeah. There's a lot of different ways you can pique curiosity. And if, if you send 20 texts and you don't get responses, what we want to do here is shift the language. I can't say that enough. I'm not expecting you guys just to send my texts or Lisa's texts. We need to figure out, you know, how your network is going to respond to you because you're the one they know, not us. And that, that's how we work together. So if you guys are sending a lot of texts and not getting feedback, uh, we want to massage that language. It's got to feel right for you. And that's what, you know, what you're saying, Brian, for me, 99.9% .9 of the time, I'm using the, are you open? If not, no biggie, which mm -hmm. is a variation of that. And that's getting the most responses that I've ever gotten. Yeah. So, so what Lisa's talking about there, guys, is, you know, she's been studying this stuff for long enough and she kind of dialed in through split testing, through trial and error, uh, what works in her voice for her crowd and the people she's meeting. Right. And that's what, that's what I did, you know, four years ago. I, I, I just tried a bunch of things. I studied a bunch of books. I shifted language and I found what works for me based on me. And it's because of how people know me. So that, that's ideally what you guys are all going to find. Kenny's got a very different methodology. Works very well for him. Uh, Jen Tata, the same thing. She's got a, her own methodology. Um, I got the Haywoods down there, but they're blanked out. What are you guys doing down there? Show your faces. <laughs> <laughs> what's up amanda what's sorry just put the, just put the baby down and finally eating some food <laughs> uh, hey listen i just ate right on film <laughs> too. Like we're all we're all trying to get somewhere what's up <laughs> what's one of the last texts that you said or sent out um basically similar to what lisa is saying you know are you open if not no biggie mm -hmm. um tonight we actually had somebody that was committed to going to the Rhode Island meeting, but then at the last minute had to reschedule. Um, so we're trying to kind of filter some people out to that meeting too, which we've heard is a really good meeting. Mm -hmm. um, so that was kind of a bummer, but at the same time, like it is what it is. And we just said, oh, awesome, no big deal. You know, we'll follow up with you in a couple of days and then we'll plan on getting to the one in two weeks. Well, let me ask um, you this, were those, were those people brand new prospects or? Yeah. So they've never, yeah, seen, so they've never seen anything? Well, so it was somebody that I reached out to on LinkedIn and she was, sorry, she was um, very interested in hearing more. So I sent her the video. We got on a phone call uh, conversation after, and she was like, I really like what I'm hearing, this and that. Um, she needed a couple of days because she's in another company um, and she was trying to hit a goal. So she said, okay, you know, let's connect after august 1st and i said perfect i you know no problem so we did that and then planned on going to the meeting tonight and she called and she was like i'm really sorry something came up today with my nephew and i i'm not gonna be able to make it but i definitely want to go to the next one because i really do like what i'm seeing so far um so it's just one of those yeah that's fine one thing you guys might want to do just given your level of experience yeah is encourage them to get on a Zoom meeting with you guys and, and go through the slide deck. Like, you guys are not newbies. You're not rookies. Yeah. You, you have, I think you're going to have more success with that than trying to drive somebody to a meeting. Okay. Um, everybody's different, but you guys in particular, I mean, I, you know, I think yeah. something like that, you, you could have pivoted and said, listen, I'm busy too. I'm actually bouncing my kid off the knee, but why don't we grab 15 minutes on a Zoom meeting? Let me, let me dive a little deeper, like, like escalate them, and, then, and you guys have the slide deck, right? Or a slide deck? Yeah, and I think that she will do that because I said to her, I'm going to get you some more information in the meantime that's, before that's, we connect again. Yeah, that's personally what I would do. Again, given you guys' level of, you know, yeah. um, all I do, guys, all I do is 
the slide deck presentations. Yeah. For myself personally, I don't send a video. I, I either sit with somebody or I get on a Zoom and I do a a slide deck presentation. Now, if you're brand new, I wouldn't recommend that, but you guys are not. Same with you guys, Lisa. You might want to shift tax a little bit and start inviting people to some some one on one slide deck presentations where your story's in there, your face is in there, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, just a thought, you know, try it. You guys have certainly accomplished enough and um you know we Ken actually has a, um, you have a meeting tomorrow with um, Jose? Yes. Ken actually has a meeting tomorrow with a gentleman who um, has seen the video, um, is, is excited and, and wants to hear more and, and get more involved, hopefully. So yeah. um, I'm going to probably need a three-way with someone because he wants to know more in depth with the compensation plan. Yeah, that's fine. Bring me so, in. Or absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Well, because that's the other thing. That that meeting in Rhode Island, I mean, I would only send somebody to a meeting for the most part if I'm going to be there. Well, Ken was, Ken was on his I way. My man. My man. All right. That's good. That's good. But um, just always realize there's a pivot. If somebody says, oh, I can't make the meeting, a meeting's minimum a four hour commitment for most people. Driving, showing up, it's a four hour. You're asking somebody to spend four hours. So, Right. I use meetings as a, as a, like a third level escalator. You know what I mean? Somebody's okay. really, really curious. I, if, if they want to meet some like-minded people in the industry, you know, if, if, she, if somebody's a nurse and I want to have them meet a nurse face to face, but just for me personally, it's like a third level escalator. Okay. So I, I yeah, tell she, you, you know, go ahead. She lives, she lives in Providence. So we figured that would be good because it's right there for her yeah, to get yeah. to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely do that. Cause that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, it's just something to try. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. It's just, you, you guys are definitely, you know, your people are going to buy into you, um, you know, just because your background and, and everything else. So. Okay. Awesome. Cool. Awesome guys. Well, I got to start the next meeting. Hopefully you guys got uh, some good content out of that. Uh, anybody brand new, or even if you're not, feel free to join us on the next meeting. Uh, we're we're going to fast start train people. It's just, we, we start everybody from zero and by the end of it, they're booking calls. So, um, should be pretty good. So we'll see some of you guys there. And uh, if uh, for the rest of you, we'll see you next week. So have a great night and God bless. Thanks. You too. Take care, everybody.